VRED Pro 2020, we gained two new render passes, CryptoMat Object and CryptoMat Material. These render passes are supported in some compositing softwares, but I wanted to know if it was possible to use this inside of Photoshop. So after doing a little bit of searching, I found this website, exr.io.com. This is a free EXR image reader for Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is when you're setting up your materials inside of VRED, you want to make sure we're using a, a name that we can recognize and find instead of just using a, ser a whole bunch of materials that are just set to default. So in this instance, I'm going, I want to have the ability to adjust my body color inside of Photoshop without having to make a whole series of materials inside of VRED. And also want to be able to adjust the wheels independently. So the wheels are set to rim and the body is set to car paint black. Once I've done this, I'm going to go into my render settings and I'm setting this as a 1920 by 1080, exporting the alpha channel. I'm also going to export multi-layer EXR PSD for render passes. And then in my render passes layer, I'm going to export the beauty, specular reflection, glossy IBL, background, cryptomat material, and depth. I'm not going to do object because it will create a separate layer for every single uh, object in the scene. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to turn that off. Once I've set this, I'm also setting my uh, quality to 512. And I'm just going to do pre-computed plus IBL. At this point, I'll hit render and render out an image. All right, so once that image is complete, now we can go into Photoshop. All right, once you've installed that plugin, follow the instructions on their website on where to put the plugin. I'm going to go and hit open and find that rendering I just completed. Now you get this new pop up. And for this instance, I have left some of the defaults to on and I have set add alpha to all layers and cryptomat masks. And then I am going to hit open. It takes a second to load. But once I've done that, you'll see that I now have in my layer editor all these new layers. And these are all just white images with alpha channel that are all based on the, indi on the individual materials. So here's my car paint. So I'm just going to drag it to the top. When I put it on the very, very top, you'll see what I get. I get this nice white image with alpha channel that is the exact data for everything that was applied to that material. So the body color plus these wheel inserts. So what you can do is make a duplicate of your body or a duplicate of your original image, sorry, and put it on top. And if I turn these off, what you can use is the create clipping mask. So create clipping mask We'll take the image below and use it to clip the image above. So I've created a clipping mask. So now everything that wasn't white has been clipped. So I can actually group these two together. And now if I adjust this image, I can start affecting the body color without affecting the rest of the image. So I can say image, just use saturation. So I can come in here and I can sort of start messing with the body color. In this instance, I'm going to use colorize. I'm going to make this sort of a blue. So that looks good. I'm going to hit OK. Now it's a little, because I used Colorize, now it's, it's all the same blue across everything. 
So what I'm actually going to do is use my specular reflection channel that was created. I'm going to duplicate duplicate that, bring it into my layer here, and I'm going to use linear dodge. So it's a little brings a little bit more of the color back in of the environment, but without having to and sort of remove some of that oversaturation. So let's do it again, this time with the wheels. The wheels are here under rim. I'm going to drag that all the way up to the top. So there's my mask for the rims. Again, same process. I'm going to copy that, move it above, right click, create clipping mask. I'm just for organizational purpose, I'm going to immediately create a, a new group for this. And under the rims, I'm going to do the same process. Image, just, use saturation, colorize. In this instance, I want to do some sort of bronzy rim. Hit OK. There you go. So using the crypto mat feature, able to easily bring stuff into Photoshop and edit it.